Welcome to Nana's Kitchen here. Some of all the good old days, our uh, first episode. My name is Scotty Lombardo, I'm your host, and uh, we're gonna be sitting around the kitchen and uh, chewing the fat, I suppose, and we, uh, we're gonna have some guests every week, and this week we have a, 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 quite, a, quite a cast of characters here. We have uh, Tony Alabrandi, who uh, many know from uh, up in West, West Somerville as the barber of the Ville, I've been told. I've been told over the years we have uh, a man who needs no introduction, Gene Brune. I'm not going to give him one. And then we have Brian Gillis, who's uh, another kid from, uh, what are you, Belmont Park? Belmont Park. Belmont Park. Yeah. You're a ball square, is that what Magoon. you mean? Magoon Square, I'm sorry, and a ball square, and I'm Winter Hill. So we're, uh, we're all here at the Scat Studio. Well, you're is, too young for the Winter Hill gang. I, mean, I, 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 I think I <laughs> ran God. stuff around numbers that I didn't know about. Which <laughs> there we are. <laughs> but I, like, uh, I've... Uh, Winter Hill is my neighborhood. I don't get a park. I don't get a square. I just get a hill. So everybody is associated by something in the neighborhood. And we are here at the Scat Studio in Nana's Kitchen. I love the set. We've done well. And uh, let's, let's talk about scat in general. Have you, you ever watched scat when you were a kid, Tony? Oh, or, yeah. and we, when it came yeah, around? Sure, well, I was a kid. Yeah. All the sports were on it. scat, right? Sports were on. And you, sure. were a, you, were the, you were the king of sports and well, so I, I think I was on it a few times. I can't think of the pull it around the show. But anyway, he, he had me on a few times. I'd get on and say, I got nothing to say. Talk for two hours, you know. But anyway, yeah. that's what my <laughs> That's what we hit. We're going to talk about nothing yeah. for two hours. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's that's just that work. about, right. That work. <laughs> Brian, what, 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 uh, what, tell me something about scat, if you remember anything about scat. Well, I remember, you know, grew up in the days of uh, black and white TV and five yeah. channels. You know, when cable came on, it was just... Yeah. I remember the big, remember the brown box? Yes, the, you, and you had to push the button. I think we were the second Steve. button. Yeah. The yeah. scat was the second button yeah. on the brown box, yeah. and it had that cord that ran across the room, and you'd trip over it, yeah. and every kid in the house would trip over those cords. I remember that very vividly. But you have some, you have, you have some memories about scat, don't you? Gene, yeah, a lot tell, of me, tell me something about scat. A lot of good memories, but I got involved in scat in the 80s when I became mayor. Uh, during the, during the, uh, during you the 70s. You were the mayor? <laughs> 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 See, that's why you don't have a, you don't have a, a square, because. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I didn't get a square. Yeah, you didn't get a square. Uh, I got involved naturally in the 70s when I was an alderman. Uh, we had cable television. And there was lots of problems with cable during those days because cable just was, was new to some of them. Uh, we got involved, I got involved, heavily involved with SCAT in the 80s because we wanted community television. <laughs> and the thing was that we were beginning negotiations for a new, new contract with Warner Cable. And we wanted to get the most we could out of the contract. So this, this was a, a fire station at one time. It became a warehouse for everything for it really wasn't used for much. But we thought it had potential to be a great place where you could have community television. And we negotiated with Warner, and it kind of like it was one-sided negotiations. We told them what we wanted. And if we didn't get it, I was going to stop my own cable company in some of them. How, how do you how do you even start even, a cable? Company? We couldn't even start it, but, <laughs> but you know at least. So you yeah, fibbed was, a little. You fibbed a little. I fibbed a little bit, but I got a lot. Uh, we got them. I got them to give me fifteen thousand right off the bat, so that I could hire somebody to do my cable, my cable contract. And then we asked them if they would, if they would lease this building, and give us a million three over ten years, so that we could have some money. And also. We convinced them to remodel this entire building and put all the new equipment in so that we could start fresh. And this was the SCAT building, and it, start, it became the SCAT building. I think in the probably early part of the 80s when I was made, I was made from 80 to 90, so it's probably around 82, 83, that they, this became the SCAT building, and it's here today. Yeah, I think I and, have some and footage it's of It's a lot of nice programs down here. were produced out of here. Uh, and oh, which those, I'm proud. This I'm is proud. our newest one, right here. Mm -hmm. And I can and I can thank two of my people that that worked on this with me, and that was Peter Mill and Howie Horton. Uh, they uh, they worked for me. As they sound I, like they should represent uh, Tom Brady now. You, you, you <laughs> drove a hard deal. Well, <laughs> well, maybe they should. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I could. You know, I mean, I just kind of bluffed them, and uh, yeah. and 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 being a new mayor, and they, uh, I guess they realized that. Uh, that that they wanted to do something, you know, and, and what they did, 
was good for them too because they used us, used us as a model. Uh, but they made me promise that I wouldn't tell everybody else <laughs> was what there, I got there, out of them. Was there much community television back then? I mean, from the cable's perspective? <laughs> oh, there was a lot. Oh, sure, there was a lot. I mean, everybody became producers yeah. and they were able to, to uh, use the equipment uh, as a member. Yeah. You know, and, and, and this here place. They have, they have a great program here. They I mean, have you, a great program. You come pro down, you pay a few bucks, and, and you can and they had be a, a movie editor. That's yeah. right, and they yeah. had a great program back then. It started off small and throughout the years got bigger and bigger to what it is today, and I'm very pleased. Yeah, there's a bunch of kids on the other side of the wall banging around right now. And there we are. a good old time. And now. I'm very pleased mm -hmm. that, the, that the way it worked out, and yeah. thank you, Scat. Yeah. You know, I held up my part of the bargain, mm -hmm. and they held up theirs. Yeah. My name's yeah. Scott, though, not Scat. Oh. Well, <laughs> look at Scott. <laughs> Scott went, uh, just without a square. You, just playing with you, buddy. <laughs> without a square. Without a square. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some about tell me some about Belmont Park. All I remember is going up to St. Catharines. Uh, yes, St. Catharines uh, was a, still was a great parish. And, it's not, it's uh, still kicking up. They think they still have bingo. Uh, up yeah, yeah. You've still got bingo. That's I a good organization. The, the, I'll tell you. Uh, what was your job? Uh, I got Catholic taxes. Uh, I used to set up the table. The Catholic taxes. Uh, when we That's played awesome. for CYO for Vincent Daveningo, Vinnie Daveningo, great guy yeah. from Somerville, and everybody knew each other, you know, and. Uh, we talked about, uh, you know, after after school, everybody would go outside and play yeah, I I, in the streets. You know, I, th I think I was I think I was undressed by the time I got down the driveway yeah, at my house playing football home from school. Uh, yeah. Go to the park and play basketball. We actually played basketball at Kelly Park. You know, and then. Um, Did they have a f two rims? Did they have a full court down there? They had a full court. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And there was. Uh, you could actually drive into the park, which was probably not a good well, idea. Well, it was a good, good place for the cops to come in and chase those out sometimes, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. uh, so, so it's a it's a, a, a great parish, and um, it was a great school. And, did uh, you go to St. Catharines? Or did you yeah, go to I went to St. Catharines. Oh, really? Like, elementary school. I still got the... Did you go to Clements, or did you, did you end up I went to Don Bosco, high? actually. Don Bosco, yeah. fancy. Yeah. Nice. Down the combat zone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no combat. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's gone. St. Catharines is a beautiful gone. church. Yeah, actually, oh, beautiful yeah. church. That's a nice neighborhood. You couldn't there. build a church it's like that today. You no. It'd be too expensive. Oh, no. yeah, uh, St. Beautiful. Anne's around the corner from my house is a beautiful building, too. Yeah. 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 I'm a St. Clement's guy. Did you, go to, did you go to high school there? Or did you go to no, I went to Salva High, but my, my two children went to St. Clement's. In the, uh, so you just paid all their bills. Well, <laughs> yeah. In the early, you know, my, one of them graduated from St. Clement's. <laughs> my daughter, Debbie, went until the 10th grade, and then I became mayor. And she wanted to transfer it to the high school. And I say it today, and I kid her, that the reason why she wanted to transfer from St. Clements to the high school, because her father was next door, and the key, the car was there, and my wallet was there, yeah. so yeah. she could come. It was convenient <laughs> for her. Yeah. You know. Go, you know, run over and see but, that. But no, she loves some of the high. She loves some of the high. So one graduated from St. Clements, the other one graduated from some of the high. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you go where your friends go. And Did you, were you with some of the high kids? Did you go yeah. to the parochial system? No, no I went kid? to Bingham School. That's gone. I went Never. to Northeast and Junior High. That's gone. Yeah, I was the last graduating um, class. Um, I think oh the yeah? wrecking ball was yeah. swinging when mm -hmm. I was leaving. And then the high school. <laughs> that's still there. But anyway, that's where I went. Then I went to barber school, worked with my father at the shop. And but your dad was a barber. I mean, did yeah. You, did you, did you, Who did you would hire me other than my father? Exactly. I went to barber school. You're still in the same shop up there, right? No, we've had three different yeah, shops. Three shops. Yeah. Well, the rent uh, is killing us. You know, they keep going up and up. We're, we're working towards Davis Square, but I think this is it for me. I could be 59 years. You want, you want to move into Davis? No, I want to go home and rest uh, a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I say he 59. Wants to there's, I was, nobody, there's nobody left to take it? Uh, my son oh, yeah. doesn't want to do it. None of my mother. I had all nieces that wanted to, but they all got married, had children, and, they, you know, it just wasn't wow. the time. But they all said they'd love to be Bob. I don't know why. It's it's a tough to see job. how great a life I had, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Your, uh, your shop is like a museum up there, though, too. Yeah, it's great. I had a lot of pictures up there. There's a lot of history because, I mean, I sponsored the teams for almost like 30, 40 years. And I started, I went into this new shop, and they said, all right, I'm not putting a thing in the wall. She said, beautiful. Well, if you see it today, she wouldn't even want to come in. Up a she gets claustrophobic in there, you know, so. Yeah, she was funny. She always tells us, that now he's got all this stuff on the walls. It's a mess. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot more small locally owned businesses. Back, the, back yeah. In, well, the the barber shop yeah. business has exploded. I mean, there's one in every 35 yeah, feet. Now it's kind of strange. Rent, I don't even now, you can't even afford it. Yeah. Well, they, now they're becoming fancy, and rather than yeah. charge 
ten dollars or twelve dollars for a haircut, you know, you have to make a reservation. They do a point. And it's twenty five or thirty dollars. So. Yeah, I, I remember. I probably never went to see her because my mother used to just put a bowl on my head. <laughs> yeah. I remember in Ball Square there was a, a barber shop that had a sign in the window that said "Home Haircuts Repaired Here," which is probably the the greatest sign <laughs> yeah, I've I ever seen that in a too, shop. Yeah, they, yeah, they forget who it was, you. but yeah, they, yeah, they, fi they fix you. They fix, fix some home haircuts. Well, like, during the, the '60s, that's what killed us. They used to start growing their hair. Oh yeah, I worked at the, the Sisters of the Poor for the 20 bonnies, years. In the bonnies, right? Yeah. All the bonnies. Yeah. Oh, I used to hate them. You know, being there mumbling to myself, no one listened to. Because the they didn't kids, get haircuts uh, or because you They wouldn't get haircuts. It took almost a year to get the hair grown out over oh, the sure. years. So sure. Who was coming for haircuts? Then the father started to, you know, get on the kids and they got to be, it was really wasn't a fun time oh, to cut hair. That's really strange. Father wanted to, you know, bop the kid and I'm in the middle of it. Oh, leave him alone. Oh, yeah, because he's dead dragging him in by the yeah, ear to get a haircut. It, was, yeah. it wasn't a good time, but anyway, it got better. Well, it, you know, it wasn't just Bonnie's that had long hair. Um, it was. You know, what was a bonnie anyway? Let's explain uh, it. Let's explain that's, it before that's anybody this doesn't guy's, know. Uh, uh, that comes from. It was originally coined in in in, in uh, Harvard Square. Yeah, I always knew it. By my brother actually. Uh, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> so the or, actually, you're the origin of this thing. That's yeah, awesome. it, there's actually an article in the uh, Boston Globe about it, and um, it was just kind of a little bit of a backlash by the the townie to the the, the first yeah. wave of. Um, you know, once the newcomers into new the city, newcomers, yeah, yeah, and, yeah uh, kind of. Once the red line came to uh, to uh, David Square, and was it 1985? Yeah, in fact, um, I think it broke in uh, '84. Well, yeah. it, 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 when I was in Alderman in '72, uh, in '74, the mayor called me and asked me, "You want a red, you want a subway in David Square?" And I was the Alderman Ward Six, mm -hmm. where it is, and I said, "Of course, mayor. All we have in David Square right now is bar rooms and shoe stores." And yeah. the shoe stores nobody, are moving out. Nobody would want to go to David. When I was no, a kid, nobody would go not. to David so Square. So all the all the people from <laughs> all yeah. the kids from Tuff University <coughs> would go to Harvard mm -hmm. Square. So we convinced when mm -hmm. Arlington Center Heights decided they didn't want the red line in Arlington, we convinced the governor to allow us to have it in David Square, and that was and they cut and the, the governor signed in 1974. Who was the governor then? Was that Dukakis? Dukakis. Yeah. Yeah. King beat Dukakis. In 84, Governor Dukakis came back again, yeah. B. King, and I cut the ribbon with, with Governor Dukakis for the red line in yeah. uh, David Square. And that's uh, I'll tell you, that's revolution, took, I that took 10 years of planning. Yeah. 10 yeah. years of planning. I remember the and rats we, running around when they were digging. That's, <laughs> that's right. I remember yeah. that. Exactly. Yeah. Really we was, took yeah. thousands and thousands of pictures because it made sure there was no cracks in the foundations yeah. at all. And uh, in, in 1984, we, and we prepared for it. So that we had our plan for Davis Square, and the only thing the people in Davis Square made me promise to do is to not make Davis Square another Harvard Square. They didn't want high-rise buildings. Oh, yeah. They wanted to have yeah, lots it, it of business. It almost looks exactly the they same. They wanted lots yeah, of so business. It's a one-story town. Over that's there. right. Yeah. But they wanted to kind of maintain it as a square, yeah. which we did, and that's the way it is today. And I put in brick sidewalks, and we did the whole thing. Naturally, it's over 30 years old now. So it needs some tender, loving care, uh, but did they make the red you, line. Did they they require you to keep Sligo too. Was the Sligo, Sligo required? Yeah, yeah. No, was that required? We kept, no, but we kept, all, site. we kept all the good ones, and and I and I also I made it a point that there'll be no more bar rooms in this city when I was mayor. Yeah. They if you could have a liquor license if you had a restaurant, yeah. but no. Oh, so you bar started room. that. Oh, that's right. That's good. It was no a, bar rooms. Great step. Yeah. Now the ones that that were there, okay, that was okay. Them in, yeah. That was but, okay. But they're disappearing. But that's right. Yeah. But you had to have you had to be had to have a restaurant to have a, a liquor yeah. license. I didn't want pickled, any more, pickled eggs didn't count. Didn't want any more bottles. Pickled eggs didn't count. I remember. Well, but remember pickled eggs in the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was <laughs> the, their food. The piggy's any pizza. Case, I think that's how case, they got around it. Yeah, you know, having the red line at the <laughs> some level was the best thing that ever happened. Oh, absolutely, uh, because. It, uh, it just paved the way as to what's going yeah. on today. Every time I talk to anybody, who said, I tell them from some of them, like, isn't Davis Square great? I was like, yeah. kinda, it aggravates yeah. me a little. Like, eh. But it, because when because I was a kid, you wouldn't go. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have a square, A. And B, <laughs> it's Sumville has so much more to offer than just Davis Square. But nobody, because sure. of the red line, you can you can appear there. You had a yeah. good, lot of good restaurants there, Absolutely. too. Oh, a lot oh, of good oh, restaurants. Like Gotti, Venice. Yeah. yeah. Everything's a restaurant John, down here Johnny, Johnny D's just, and, and just you know, closed up, which was a shame. Yeah. When we Johnny decided D's to put Harvard Health in there, uh, we had our choice of other businesses, yeah. 
and we had a, also had our choice of housing. But the thing that makes a square successful is bringing business in, yeah, bringing people in. So I went along with Harvard Health because there was a lot of people there yeah. that would visit the square during the daytime yeah, and, and nighttime and, yeah. and then go home. Yeah. So I didn't want to provide a lot of services. If there was housing, I would, schools and yeah, fire yeah. police and so forth. So it worked out well. And Harvard Health is still there. And it's fine. What did, what did you have to tear down? Wasn't that the gas line? What, a what whole was, bunch of bar rooms. It was supposed to <laughs> string of bar rooms. I, I remember <laughs> yes, I used to go down there and try oh, to. I, see. And I remember I used to go down and try to find my dad so we could hit him five bucks so we could go bowling. Uh, Let me tell you, when <laughs> I was in Alderman, I had to go down there with Vinnie McDonough, who had badge number one, who was on the he was a policeman, and he was also on, on the liquor board. And we would go down there on Friday and Saturday nights just to keep peace. Oh, yeah. Because there was always fights or something going on yeah. with the bar rooms. Yeah. So and well, I the was cops the always used to hang around the, the Chinese Alderman. place over there. What was the Chinese place over there in the corner where the Ming Toy? From Ming Toy. Mm -hmm. I remember the cop, like my friend. Yeah. My friend had a dad was a cop. You know, you, know, you go in there to be like three or four of them in there. Yeah. yeah it was, it was Ming their Toy. little spot. Yeah, I knew them. Yeah. Knew them very well. They yeah. had good food. That's the Five Horse Tavern now. It's a. They, I think there's still there's still a little remnant of that Chinese place in there. That's yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, the, it's the only, the only, there's only, the only booze on that side of the square <coughs> that uh, was Ming Toy and that Five Horse now yeah. on that little street. Yeah. That's well, the Coronet Restaurant used to be down there too, and that was oh, now, yeah. it, now it's, uh, it's, it's uh, the the, uh, the barbecue place. No, or Red Bones. Red Bones. Bones. Oh, now it's Red Bones. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Red Bones has been there the whole time. The tea's been there anyway, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The co the Coronet. Uh, they, they, they closed the coronet and they opened up Dapper Dan's down Assembly Square. Well, oh, they were the same people? Same people. Yeah. Danny Cables, his father, yeah. Yeah, Dapper Dan's open when I was a kid, so yeah. I, I might have been in there. I, knew, I don't I know if very, I, yeah, I, was I was supposed to, but. Danny was a nice guy. He died a couple of years ago. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. yeah. Dapper yeah. Dan's was fun, though. It was, was a, a fun place. Yeah. How about the Blarney Stone? The Blarney Stone, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that was the, Where that was that? <laughs> that was the Davis Square. Is it elderly housing now? It, it, it's elderly housing, but it used to be, used to be, uh, okay. yeah, it used to be the Woodbridge, the Woodbridge Inn. Hotel. The hotel. Which side of the square was that on? If you go into Call Davis Square from Highland Avenue, you take a right, right, right on your right. Oh. Yeah. Used to be the Woodbridge Inn. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a brick, there's a brick. It like wasn't a brick hotel. Then, yeah. it's it's a it wasn't the Woodbridge house, Hotel. Yeah. Woodbridge That's right beside the Woodbridge Inn. That's right. right beside the tea station. Yeah. Yeah. That side of the tea station. And they had the Blarney Stone down below. Another headache for me. Was, that, <laughs> was that a yeah. speakeasy style, or was it uh, legit? It was just a, a legit place where everybody, all the young people went on Fridays and Saturday nights, you know, playing Irish music and so forth, oh, yeah. and was, gave me a headache. Irish people. Gave me a headache as an alderman. <laughs> 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 but I knew them. I knew them very well. So I used to, you know, tell them to tone it down a little bit. But, yeah. You know, and... Um, Did you go in there personally and do that, or did you just uh, do it at the, <laughs> at the town meetings? You know, no, going no, to knock on no, the window. No. Yeah, I would. I would beat them quite, kind of quietly. Well, uh, I never embarrassed anybody at a t at a meeting. No, good for I you. wouldn't good do that. You. We used to call them buckets of blood. Buckets of blood. Those are tough spots. Well, that was down Washington Street, wasn't mm. it? Uh, Washington Street and uh, Broadway, Lower yeah. Broadway, Broadway. Well, we had a lot of bar rooms. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was. There's still yeah. a few around, but there are much nicer places than there. Yeah, there, there is no. Yeah. Bar would have been yeah. the yeah. capital. Yeah. Capital was a, was a tough place. It was, it was a theater, I, and then they had the pizza joint there. Was that on Lower Broadway? Where, where was that? Well, right in Broadway. I thought you said yeah. you were on Marshall Street. It was yeah, I'm up that way, but I, right I know that the, uh, the Corey's was the the Corey the, Street. Was, <laughs> was oh, the that's whole after that. Was the, yeah, well, that was my generation of no, this, jerks. This, this place here, you, you didn't bother anybody when you were in there. You kind of mind your own <laughs> you business. Or those <laughs> I you never went into bar rooms, but, but there was a place on Ball Square <laughs> called High's High's Delicatessen. High's Delicatessen. His, his brother-in-law, myself, a whole yeah. bunch of us, that was our square, ball square. And we used to go in High Dell's Contest and we used to get a tuna fish salad sandwich and a draft beer for 25 cents. <laughs> wow. What kind of beer was it? Like Paps or something? Like Schlitz? I have no idea. Yeah. Knickerbocker. I have no idea. I used to go for the pastrami. I'm sure it wasn't. They, they I'm sure was it wasn't. He was pastrami a pastrami guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but that was after they had the pastrami. 20, yeah, yeah, yeah and, and they had great pastrami. Was, it, was that where the Willow was? Or, I mean, where was Next that door to the Willow. Yeah. Next door to the Willow? Yeah. yeah. Next door to Will, uh, twenty-five cents. Yeah, yeah. High's Delicatessen. The yeah. De Decos was there when I was a kid. Yeah, the oh yeah. Was was the yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They had a few problems in there too. You oh, know. Yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It was. Uh, 
it was interesting over there, and, the, and then the pub well, had, a, had, a, had a spider in it. There was three bar rooms. <laughs> legitimately. There. there was three bar rooms. There was two on this yeah, side. The Willow. The Willow Cafe. The Willow. was on this side. And, and there was the other one that, uh, uh, now it's part, part of the pub now, pub. but that was a bar room. Yeah. And then they had the, uh, what you would call Gerald's Carl Gerald's. Yeah. There so was three bar Jack rooms. Goes, yeah. Two drugstores. Yeah. One across the street from each other. They're having the breakfast wars there at the uh, yes. where Deco's oh, is now. It's the yeah. uh, they are. sound yeah. bites. Sound yeah, bites. Sound and bites Ball Square and, and Ball Square yeah. Cafe. Yeah, yeah. They, they almost made that television show where they where the two re the restaurants went, but I think <laughs> it actually turned into a fisticuff. Yeah, so yeah. The, yeah. So they I think they I think they didn't show them yeah. on the show. They didn't I know. Get along. Yeah. That's too bad. But they get like they're not getting along, but at least they they're living together. They're both flourishing down there. I mean, yeah, they're both. That's that's known as the breakfast capital. Yeah, yeah. And even yeah. uh, Pescatori's just got in the game. They Pescatori's. They owned the fish place yeah. there for many well, years. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you about Pescatori's. Yeah. Pescatori's, when I lived on Rogers Avenue, uh, right in the corner where Pescatori's is now, was Henry's Fruit Store. And I worked there. I was only a little kid, and I was so young Did that you when, the, when the people came store? from the state, they used to hide me down the basement. Oh now, Henry's God. Fruit Store <laughs> used, to, used to, to supply Lindell's Bakery yeah. with all the apples for their pies. Oh, and I would bring the that. apples over there. And and it wasn't, Lindell's Bakery wasn't where it is now. It was on the corner of Josephine Avenue. Oh, and, and now, and then they built their building on on Willow Avenue. Did you know that? I did not know that's that. That's right. That's right. So <laughs> and that's where I bought, used to bring the apples when I was a kid. And and the owner. Did you get paid Jean, apples too? <laughs> no, Gene Clem. I'll tell you what. Gene Clem used to take a liking to me. I was only a, a little kid. So every time I went down there, he would take me and bring me where, behind the counter, and they would make these apple turnovers, and the ends would break off, and he would give me a couple to take home. That's awesome. Yeah, and we became friends. My brother worked there as a, a cake decorator, and when I got married, Gene Clem was my, invited to my wedding, and he made my wedding cake for me. And the wedding cake was about four feet high. It took three cars to bring it down to the hall. Yeah. So oh, yeah, I, know, I know Ball you know that You knew that neighborhood oh, very yeah. well, huh? It, it yeah. Was, yeah. I yeah. know a lot of that part. Yeah. A lot of uh, veterans folks were very big. Yeah. Folks, you know, and, was, uh, what, what was, because it was cheap. I mean, what, what, what was the popularity of the... I mean, I know there was, was a good a place, place for the veterans, the veterans to go. To go. Yeah, yeah. But it was cheap. You but, you know but there was a lot of Polish yeah. clubs and, oh, yeah. and, and all those kind of the, like oh, the sure. Sons of Italy's yeah. and all those. Yeah. those. That's still going. Yeah. Sons of Italy. Sons yeah. of Italy, yeah. They're reopening in that yeah. building they yeah. just built across from Trump. Yeah. Just did all yeah. over, yeah. But, you know, like. the veterans clubs during the 50s and 60s and 70s, if you were running for politics, you better be a friend of the veterans. Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't, and plus they did it. I mean, they they did good stuff. They weren't yeah. just they barrooms. Did great they did great stuff. They did, they did, they did I'm a I'm stuff. a uh, I'm a member of a post uh, 19 American Legion, and Played I'm a member you. of uh, of uh, Logan Post DAV. VFW. I meant to say. Yeah. VFW. Yeah. I'm sorry to say I'm in Cambridge at the at the uh, VFW, but yeah. But the, one it's in uh, the one that's over in uh, by Buckingham Brown Nichols. Oh, but there. now yeah. you know it's it's Marsh Post. Now yeah. the American Legion. Yeah. Legion. The memberships are way down. Yeah, they're dropping yeah. off. You know, the people, nobody's, come, nobody's coming back and, no, and hanging and the, out in there. And anymore. the Vietnam yeah. veterans. <coughs> yeah, they were all the officers, and they're getting up there in age. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of yeah, them yeah, have their own guys. Yeah, yeah. Will, yeah. Will, oh, they yeah. yeah. didn't get along with yeah. the Vietnam. Yeah. 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 One minute? Hey, you're not supposed to talk about it. I know. I know this is a very casual setting here. Yeah, they're trying to. We just got told to shut up and get out of here. Yeah. The but veterans, uh, they were trying to, you know, do things uh, on their own. The, the newer kids, they didn't want to go with, like, the yeah. Dillboy Post and Logan, so that caused a lot of uh, yeah. trouble there. So they didn't, when the older guys die, there's no one to yeah. take over, and yeah. that's what's yeah, more or less happened. Completely different it, 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 Well, well it, you know, we have so much more to talk about. And no time yeah, to do looks it. looks like we ran out of time. Yeah. We'll have to do another yeah. show. Well, yeah, jeez, yeah. we'll have to take five. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but thank you guys so much. Some of the good old days. Uh, this is exactly what we intended to happen here today. This was fun. This is great. Yeah, fun. And thanks for uh, launching Scat here. It gave us a home. And thanks right. for cutting everybody's hair and <laughs> yeah. letting us play basketball and softball. And Brian, <laughs> yeah. thanks for uh, getting, getting the gang here today. Working I don't think I had the kind of pull to get these, the, these the guys here. Oh, yeah. And Brian's right, uh, right going to put out a book someday in some, about Somerville. 
I, I'll say someday because I think he's been building it for 25 <laughs> years. But he's been it's, he's up to 25 it. pages. It's going <laughs> to be a beautiful thing. But thank you guys so much. We're going to be here and we're going to be coming back and with multiple episodes. The Facebook page is where you can probably find us best. And we're going to launch uh, the, the, uh, the links and whatnot. And you can watch the show anywhere. You don't have to turn on Channel 3 on the Warner Cable button anymore. But uh, thank you guys so much for coming out having fun. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.